Hello, and in this video, we're going to take our selfie stack assembly we made in a previous video, and we're going to make an exploded view of that uh, selfie stick. Uh, these are typically going to be used in things like uh, putting on a drawing page so we can label the components of the assembly. Uh, so if we look over here on the right-hand side, we have three different options. Uh, first, a BOM table or bill of material, which we'll look at in another video. Uh, then a configuration panel, and finally, what we want in this one, our uh, exploded view. Uh, I'm going to click to add an exploded view. Then uh, what this exploded view is going to do is essentially we're going to take this apart so we can label or see what those parts that make up the whole assembly are. Uh, so to do this, I'm going to start by, I'm going to click on the top piece to get going. I want it to go up, so I'm going to click on that up arrow and drag upwards. Then when I let go, I can set that value. I'm going to try, I'm going to, try to evenly or close to evenly space this out. Uh, so it looks like we have about three or four pieces going up. So I'm going to put this one at six and hit enter. Uh, we can always go back and adjust what that value is. Uh, but I like to try to space them out evenly. So I hit my green check to accept. Uh, if you want, you can uh, zoom the fit or so you can see it better. Uh, I'm not too worried about that right now. So I'm just going to work my way up. And if we, later on, I'll change my view. Uh, next piece I want is this next piece below it, the lower portion of it. So I, again, I click on it. I click the up and hold the up arrow and start dragging up. And I did the last one at six, so I'm going to do this one at four and hit enter. And that moves it up. Hit our green check to accept. And that gives us that component. Uh, then if we zoom in, you can see it's got that screw and the piece that goes above the screw. Uh, so I'm going to go with this outer portion first. So I'm going to click on that, click the up arrow, click and hold the up arrow and start dragging it up. And I did the last one forward, so I'm going to do this one too. And hit my green check to accept. And then I'll zoom out. Uh, finally, I have this uh, piece here that's uh, kind of like a screw. I'm going to make that go up just one. So I click on it, click, on the up, click and hold on the up arrow and drag it up. And I'm going to change that value to a 1 and enter. And that gives me those pieces moved out. Uh, these next few pieces I'm going to move downwards. And then I'll move the screw out. Uh, so to move them down, I'm going to start with the bottom piece. So I click on it. Uh, this time my arrow is pointing up. That's fine. All I'm going to, to do is make it negative when I type in my value. So I click and hold on that arrow. And I can drag it down. I'm going to have to drag it pretty far in this case. I know it's going to be 12 inches, and then I have about three pieces to move down. So I'm just going to, again, I'm guessing it's going to be about a negative uh, 17. Again, it's negative because my arrow was going up, but I want the piece to go down. So I need the opposite direction, which is negative. Uh, so negative 17 would go with. And it moves it way down. If we zoom out, you can see it's moved way down there. Uh, then I'll pick my next piece to move down. So I'm going to click on that one. Again, the arrow is going up and I want it to go down. So I'm just going to do a negative. So I click and hold and start dragging it down. And in this case, I'm going to do a negative. I'm going to go negative four in this case and hope that that fits in and doesn't overlap. So I did negative four. It doesn't overlap my bottom one. So we're good there. And it looks like I have enough space for what's going on up above. Uh, so then I have this uh, piece that the screw goes into. Uh, yeah, I'm going to take the screw out now. We could do it later, but I'm going to do it now since that's when you'd have to undo it to take the part, the things apart. So again, I click on it, the piece I want to move. Uh, again, the arrow is pointing the opposite way. It's a screw. I'm going to take it out the way a screw would naturally go out. So I'm going to click and hold on that arrow and drag it the way I want it to go. And I'm going to set that as a value of negative 2 just to be consistent with what I've been doing. You could do negative one and it said work fine, but just to be consistent, I'm doing negative two. So I'll green check to accept. Uh, then I have this portion I want to move down. So I'm going to click on that. Again, the arrow is pointing up. I want it to go down. I click and hold, drag it down, and I'll set that value to a negative two and enter. Hit the green check, and that gives us everything we want. So now everything's been separated. Uh, we, all the pieces are separated. Uh, you may want to move something. So let's say you want to go back and move this piece. You want to move it up closer. I click on it. It says exploded. Step 5 is the one I'm changing. And then I can double click on it, and I can change that value. Maybe I want it just to go down negative 16. And then hit uh, enter and green check, and you can see it moves it up just a little bit. Uh, so if you need to move things around, you can do that 
to make it more precise or if you have things overlapping or you did underestimate it or overestimate it, uh, that's a way you can go back and fix it. Uh, so hopefully this helps you to make an exploded view. Uh, we will put this exploded view onto a drawing page in a further video uh, so you can label and sew your different parts. Uh, thank you and good luck.